Hello and welcome everybody. This is uh, Will, and today we're going to be playing some FTL, which is one of my favourite games that <laughs> I scraped together with a little bit of money that needed to buy it. If you haven't played this before, it's a really little fun little game, and it's not much of a mission or story type like field game. It's just sort of like a little, I don't know how to describe it. I guess you'll just have to wait and see. So we'll be doing a new game. I've done a little bit of it before. Not much. I've only gotten six ships in total. And we'll just be starting off with the, the beginner one today. It's quite a powerful ship as well. We have a missile and the burst laser mark too. Um, on easy mode and advanced edition content is enabled as well. Because that's always fun. Um, yeah, we'll keep with the Kestrel. Data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to it get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Hotkeys. So it's a little bit about hotkeys because you will need those in this game to make it a lot easier to play. It's not a hard, hard game, but knowing a little bit about it can help. This is our ship menu, so we've got our system, subsystems, and reactor. If you upgrade the reactor, you'll also want to upgrade the systems. So it's a fair bit of scrap involved, which is the what that's up there. It's your crew, which I think you can have more than this. But I've only maxed it out once, I think. And our weapons, drones, augmentations, and cargo. A little bit about those later. Right now, we'll turn auto fire on, and we've got our weapons powering up. This is our maximum energy usage we can have. And we'll just, I think we'll go down here and explore, because that looks like it'll be a bit more fun and have a lot more options. Okay, so our first target is the Pirate Scout. We'll take out these weapons first, because they'll, yeah, they'll definitely do a number on us. That's a beam weapon, so it doesn't pierce shields or take away one. But it will, if there's no shield, just go straight across your ship and do a lot of damage. And we're in that, so take out. Yep, weapons are gone, we're fine. So this will take out yeah, two hull points. And these lasers will finish them off. Well, it's pretty successful so far. So this is our evasion percent, if you increase, decrease that with your engine power. Um, using pause just to space. Ah, it's a store, really useful, but you might want a little bit more scrap, because we've only got what's considered quite a little bit in the game. Um, we have a chance to attack these, and they might give us a free one, a free slave. Free, a free slave, um, or continue on our way, which they might attack anyway, so we're just going to do this and hope for the best. This is interesting, they've got an ion weapon. So that'll ionize your shields, I guess, taking them out of action for a couple of seconds, which can lead to a lot of damage from these little beam weapons as well. Yep, I'll take that, thank you. It's a great start. Put those on shields. And as these guys, these little crew members, they do their jobs in the weapons, engines, shields, and um, control, they'll slowly upgrade their points here. So, next one will be evasion plus five, once they've gotten that to be higher of a level. So that can really help you out, so I suggest slowly just keeping them at a, um, keeping them at their jobs. So we're going to be a hero here, because we want the loot. No, we want shields, weapons, weapons gone. Yep, this could hurt. 
Okay, so the heavy laser miss and our weapon systems are out. Not cool. Hopefully our missile will do just fine though. Alright, got him back online. Yep. And we get some more loot. So I suggest helping out those civilian ships because they'll really help you in the long run. Um, put this guy in the med... no, this one in the med bay. You can go back there. Yep. And... Put you back and save these crew positions. So I think just for this first episode we'll just get to the end of this sector and we'll see what happens. So these guys have a teleporter, they're obviously going to yeah, teleport to us. quite low so we couldn't really. That's okay. Maybe another time. I really want to get to this store. I'm just going to quickly so hop and jump away. So with the Rebel Fleet they'll only advance on jumps. So that's always useful because it won't advance while you're in battle. So even if you're battling for I don't know, a little while, it won't do much for your ship. Mm, okay. Charging up their FTL. So if you want to stop this, you want to hit either the control, or the piloting system, or the engines. But we're going to kill them anyway, so that's fine. As long as they don't actually get too far. Ah, uh, okay. Yep, we should have hit their engines. Oh, uh, well, that's okay. Oh, it's just a missile. Yep. It's gonna be risky, but we're gonna get the biscuit. No, we shouldn't have gone here. <laughs> My bad. My bad. We could actually die on this very first episode. So hopefully we can take out these weapons, though. That's gonna be breached, so that'll slowly use oxygen. We just wanna try to get out of here though. Okay. They're not doing great hull damage, but we still could have avoided this. And that's good! So we just went down there to rescue somebody, I guess. And we, um, brought them back. One of the NG, which they're good, because if you know how to use them, you can't really use them. <laughs> Usually they're really good at repairs, they've got, how much is it? 2.5? Or 1.5 times? Repair speed is double, so two times repair the speed. That'll be useful. But they've also got less health, I think. Or... Combat damage is inflicted at half, so... 
They won't kill lots of people in battle. But... He will be useful when repairing systems that are heavily damaged. Engine dude, and you. No. You're on the weapons, so you can go back to shielding. Yep. Okay. And you need to heal. No. Okay, hopefully, we'll get out of this and repair up somewhere. No, let's just head straight, straight to the exit. Yep, this should be easy. So I'm going to take out this drone, or... Yeah, we'll take out the drone first. Uh-oh. scraps which we can use. Just go here and see if there's a store nearby. Hopefully not die in the process. That wouldn't be wouldn't be a great start. So they've got a bomb. Bomb weapon. And a heavy laser. Hopefully we'll win this with minimal damage. Yes we did. Take those offline, power up the engines, charge this up faster. And hopefully get out of here before anything bad happens again. Yes, we have a store. Now I could have gone to the exit, but that's not as fun as going and doing another mission. Drone control. Cloaking. Yes, we want to get the cloak. Thank you. So we have a drone control and hacking. Could have got either of these because they're really quite useful. Um, drone control, you also need to buy a drone, but they usually come with one. Yep, combat drone. Or hacking, which enables you to hack the your opponent's systems, whichever one you choose. And it'll shut it down or drain the enemy used to charge it a bit. Really useful. Exit. And I think this will do for episode one. Yep. FGL's charged, you can jump to the next sector. Export station survivors, and there we go. A little bit of extra scrap at the end there. Well, thank you all for watching and joining me on my unlucky adventure, I guess. Getting a lot of hull points taken off there. But I hope you enjoyed, um, feedback would be very much appreciated, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you.